90% of people eat more than 12 hours a day. And there is metabolic magic when you compress your eating window. And Dr. Fung is going to expand on that in great detail. mTOR, it senses the availability of protein and increases these sort of growth pathways. So if you're trying to increase muscle like bodybuilders will, for example, then this might be a very good thing. On the other hand, we talk about how it impacts aging. One of the real um, interesting theories of aging is that there's a sort of trade-off between the growth program and the longevity program. that um, somewhere around 12 to 14 hours is sort of a baseline. The next uh, step up is somewhere around 16 to 18 hours and that's so easy to do once you get used to it. It's just so easy and you can build that right into your uh, day without sort of any problems at all and I think that's that's where you're exactly right. So your glycogen stores last uh, about say 24 hours. During fasting and calorie restriction as well, what happens is that the liver actually down-regulates the growth hormone uh, receptor in the liver so that the growth hormone level goes way up, but your body's not that um, receptive to it, and therefore the, uh, there's not a lot of IGF-1 going on. So that's very interesting because then when you eat again, this is when that big surge of growth hormone can start to hit you and then you can start to rebuild all your muscle and so on. well right that's the whole goal is not to live long uh, with a lot of disability it's to age well that's the whole point mm -hmm.